how do you go from this to this? And from this to this? It's not easy. It takes resources, resolve, resiliency, and most of all, the commitment of a dedicated team of affordable housing experts, a host of professionals who know how to turn ruin into rejuvenation. In 2000, the city of Charlotte, North Carolina was recognized as one of America's most livable cities. The award is presented once every decade by Partners for Livable Communities, a nonpartisan, nonprofit group that promotes better communities through effective leadership and people working together. Charlotte's recognition comes from its handling of rapid growth with smart planning. Despite population growth of nearly 21% between 1990 and 1998, the city has successfully contained urban sprawl. Charlotte has also been successful in maintaining affordable housing. Charlotte is also home to Charlotte Elderly Housing, a 60-unit apartment campus for seniors aged 62 and over. When National Church Residences purchased the property in 2002, the buildings, the grounds, and the general upkeep of the facility was as objectionable as its name. In fact, it barely passed for housing by any standards. And their building, it just looked beautiful. And some of them really were beautiful. Seniors up in age was not being treated like I thought they should be. I was concerned about them. My apartment in here, for instance, was kind of like sad. My air condition wouldn't have work. Most of the time it, it didn't. You didn't know, you know whether you'd have air or, or not. And in the wintertime when it's cold, sometimes the heater wouldn't come on. I felt like it, 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 I was not even worthy. And there was times it, it was very often we didn't have any heat. The walls need painting. I don't know how long it had been since they were painted. If the heater went out, you could report it, but you didn't get help then. It, it just looked kind of like dull and dark. And we would uh, burn the stove, and I, after I moved here, my sister and her husband bought me a space heater for the winter. When you're living in a place and you're paying rent, Naturally, you would expect the owners to do some of the things that needed to have been done. And uh, to me, it was like a don't care attitude uh, as far as the tenants is concerned. My heat, my hot water heater went out, and I was 10 days without water. The only thing we could do is just pay the rent when rent was due. If a person got too old and they had to put them in a nursing home, that apartment stayed vacant. They didn't do nothing about it. Many of these apartments become empty until it's kind of like frightening. So it's just, it was just too many vacant places out here. First thing we saw when we pulled on site was the condition of the buildings. They were old. There had been no maintenance whatsoever. The, at one point, several years ago, they were painted. The paint was all over the roofs. Uh, the landscaping was covering all the windows. The grass hadn't probably been mowed for better than two months. It made me kind of wonder why we even purchased it. No one had taken care of them. Some of them were roach infestation, infestation of vermin. The uh, carpeting was so old, uh, stunk real bad with cat urine, that you couldn't walk into the unit. You could smell it from the outside, and this person was living in this condition. There was uh, infestation of roaches in every single unit here to the point of millions in each unit. The residents needed maintenance, family members did the maintenance for them. If the family member couldn't do the maintenance, then they could go into a vacant unit and take out whatever parts they needed. This is how the people lived in this community. If air conditioners went out, that was their problem. They didn't replace air conditioners. If stoves went out or refrigerators went out, they went to a vacant unit and stole the stove out of that, brought it over to see if it would work. In the meantime, they're transplanting the roaches. Uh, the fire ants on the property were astronomical. There were mounds. One gentleman over across the street uh, his, stated that his dog was killed by fire ants in his apartment. He had them in his bed. So the conditions here at Charlotte were just Horrendous. I mean, uh, there's no way that a senior citizen should have to live like that. So the work begins, and not just in Charlotte. 
NCR had assumed ownership of 172 units of additional housing in affordable senior communities in Clinton, Monroe, and Rocky Mountain, North Carolina that were in the same, if not worse, condition as the Charlotte property. As you can imagine, there was a lot of work to be done. We acquired these buildings in May of 2002. Immediately, we had um, an effort with our construction work, our construction crew, and our architect to be down there the day we acquired the buildings. That was an amazing thing. They actually came down with a list for the residents so that the residents knew right away what to expect. One of the first things we did was put a new roof line on each of the buildings, which changed the way that each of these buildings looked. As you drive in now to the properties, you would not believe that they are the same buildings that were there before. Um, once we got the roof lines in, then we started working on exterior painting, uh, putting in little fences in front of the porches, and things like storm doors, which are really, really important things for residents so they can open their door in the, day, in the summertime. Um, then we started on the interior of the residents' homes, and we did this while they were living there. One of the most amazing challenges of this particular acquisition for National Church Residences was the fact that we were in four different communities trying to do simultaneous rehab and these communities were not close. It's about a 500 mile circuit that you're, you're going through at all times. We had one contractor that was overseeing that work but they also had to make sure that all their subs were showing up on every given day at each of these properties and making sure that the progress was going along at all times. Our site manager had to oversee all four of these properties, resident meetings, for all his residents at all times means a 500 mile loop every single time he did it. It was an awesome amount of work from a lot of people that really I feel were dedicated to the work of this rehab to make it something that everybody was proud of. Our entire staff from accountants to field personnel have been really inspired by uh, the work that we've done here. It's been really exciting to get involved in these preservation uh, efforts. This one in North Carolina has been particularly important uh, to us because of the condition of the units that uh, that we're in and we have been really uh, blessed to have a, uh, a HUD office that's taken the lead on this. Preserving affordable housing is really complicated. We could have never accomplished this without outstanding leadership from the HUD office. HUD has been in every sense of the word a, a real partner with us in this effort. Preserving affordable housing is a very compelling mission to us because First of all, you have a direct impact immediately in people's lives, and also you can preserve housing, uh, this kind of housing, at a fraction of the cost of new construction. The result? Charlotte Elderly Housing is transformed into Midland Commons, and the state of North Carolina has four reborn senior residential communities serving four different North Carolina towns. These communities mark NCR's first venture into the Tar Heel State, but more importantly, they stand as a shining example that affordable housing doesn't have to bow to the common misperception of what affordable housing is. Affordable housing, or rather quality affordable housing, provides a much needed human resource to the cities, towns, and residents that it serves if it's done by an organization that lets its mission, not its profit margin, lead the way. But don't take our word for it. They also uh, treat you like they really cared for, for the people that are out here. And um, they come in full blast, fixing up things for us. And I didn't ever think I'd ever see it looking like it do now. It's, it, it, it's like you're cared for. I like to stand back and watch them work because they just, <laughs> it's, it's, it just fascinates me to watch them and how they move right along and they work so hard. I like it, I feel at home and I don't like moving. We're low income, most of us out here are low income and we really don't have money to move into uh, a different kind of place. And by fixing this up, it make you feel, hey look, I'm living in a nice decent place now because it's just simply beautiful out here.